This is TDU Village and uh, all the riders are around getting ready for the day's riding. Um, it's not, not a bad jersey by the way. So got the, this is Romar Bade's Uber car in case, he gets, in case he struggles in the mountains. And uh, basically, yeah, so media pass. Come on inside, let's have a look. Let's have a look what's going on. Welcome to the video. It's a TDU. This is the Specialized Venge. I think I really like the color of this bike. It looks fantastic. I love the unidirectional carbon layup in there on the outside. I like that non-paint. It's a bit of extra weight saving there. I love the color. I love Specialized product. I don't like these bars, but credit to the system because you can change the angle of the bars, which is great. And bars is personal preference. I don't like it. the stem, how it's like... You want to change something, it's a bit of faffing out. But I've got to admit, the Venge system, it looks a lot better than the last one in terms of user friendliness, user servability. Big clearance there. This is a disc brake bike, specialized, apparently only sponsor disc brake frame sets for their teams. How much does it weigh? This is with tubulars, with pedals, two mounts. It's a Porker 7.39. No, so that's the bikes are getting heavier. The old Venge, I would say, was like, this is, look at this bike, Natasha's right, just to show I'm not a hate of a specialized product. This bike was 6.6 .6 kilo, no pedals. So about 6.9, 6.8 kilos with pedals. Probably about 6.9. All right, so, and same sort of size. So this is the deal. Anyway, seat height, uh, seat angle, personal preference, but generally start with something that's about level. We're inside the village here. Inside the village, uh, you know, and they're doing a bit of test riding around. So again, I'm not one of the people out there who, who get a media pass and who, you know, we're just gonna bullshit my audience. I just tell you my straight up honest opinions on the on the tech. I'm here to review tech. I'm not here to talk about anything else. I'm here just to for tech. All right, that's what I'm here for. I understand the nature of professional sport. I don't really get into the nitty gritty too much, but we're here for tech. And bike tech is something that I love personally. It's not just my job, it's also my passion. And I also do have my own bicycle brand. So I always like looking at see what's going on. I do love product that just has longevity, you know, in highlights on it. You know, and I see a lot of these frames. What happens five years down the track if you if you bung a seat post? Can you get a spare seat, seat post, etc.? Or the seat, you know, like that seat post looks like a, a great, you know, thing to ride. But what happens in five years' time if you break one? Can you get another one? So that's, a lot of people don't care about that. That's just maybe my OCD. And I like to look at that. This is an Israeli startup nation. They have all the, the basically this is a tour village. You call it the service course, whatever. This is where all the all the drinks and stuff go, and uh, it's it's interesting stuff. People are like is that Duran Rider? He's a fan or not a fan? So this is the riders just mingling. A lot, a lot of the pro riders watch my content. This was a really really interesting. A lot of the pro riders watch my content. A few of them um, even said, hey, look, you know, like. Off record, man, you, you, you put out some good shit. Well, we love hearing your uh, your honesty and truth and uh, stuff like that. So we've got some interviews still to upload on that. This is the Roman Bardet uh, Team AG2R bike. It's not Roman's bike, but same, same. And uh, again, those sort of bars I don't like because you can't angle you can't angle the top of it, can you? It's just one piece. I don't rate one piece bar stem combo. That's me personally. You may love it. I don't like it. I prefer the specialized uh, or a three two, or just you know, any traditional setup where you can actually adjust the stem, flip it, stuff like that, adjust your bar rotation, etc. That's me. And uh, test riding the side. This is Cervelo's option this year. It looks like an option, disc or rim. Isn't that pretty? One of the, I like that one. All the bikes are lined up. Looks sort of cool, doesn't it? Looks cool. I like the look of that. And that's interesting. Like an alloy clincher training wheel with a, a carbon fairing, so something old school, like a Durace Shimano one, so really good braking performance there, that's a bit of a blast from my past, it's sort of, you know, 2014 style Cervelo, and uh, just brake one there, this is a, uh, a one of the Cannondales, and uh, yeah, the Movistar Canyon this year, all disc brake, I wonder how Valverde feels about that, so, that would be tough being a pro rider, especially a GC rider, where you you know you really anal about weight, and then all of a sudden your bike's like seven kilos instead of six point eight. I mean, two hundred grams is a lot for a pro a pro uh, GC rider. Two hundred grams. I mean, that's that's definitely that's like wearing a a two hundred gram helmet or a four hundred gram helmet. That definitely matters. And a lot of pro riders wouldn't like that. The bikes are heavier now. So 
Interesting stuff. That is the Cannondale Super 6. And uh, it's a nice little, uh, nice little colorway. Something different. Something different. I do prefer the old style, super, super lightweight Cannondale Super 6s personally. But uh, hey, times are changing. It's all about disc brakes. It's all about bringing out new product for the, for the mammals. This is Scully's bike. And they're using alloy rims. So just a, a good, strong, budget alloy clincher rim. The old Cannondale cranks there. Bit of a scratch on them. All good. Pump on that. Look at that. A pump. This is a proper training bike. Saddlebag. You know, slammed. Slam set up. Adjustable bar stem. And uh, so that's a, an alloy clincher. Quite a, a heavy looking sort of setup. But hey, good enough for training. Chuck the race wheels on race day. And you're going to go feel, feel a little bit faster. Pit stop. What is that? That's just like a uh, sealant. If you get a flat tire out in the road, just put that in there and you're ready to roll. Good if you're running tubulars. These are clinches. That's the alloy thing. Of course, a lot of controversy this one. People didn't like me filming this. But this is, you know, the do do and rider style. Love or hate. Getting it out there and uh, giving the people options. That is better than stock, apparently, I was told. Better than stock. This is the Bianchi's rim brake all round. So just to note, Cannondale is all a disc brake this year for the Rhodes team in the, in the world tour. This is the Bianchi. Uh, some people call it Bianchi. I call it Bianchi because I'm from South Australia, mate. And uh, we're going to go with the Bianchi Green. Some people call it Aqua. Some people call it Celeste. I'll just trigger people, call it Green. But yeah, nice looking bikes. Chinese carbon, or maybe in Bay Vietnam. No, it's Chris Harper. This is local boy Chris Harper. I remember Chris Harper. I first uh, knew about him back when he was stealing my KOMs on a couple of climbs on Adelaide a few years back. And now he's done well for himself. He's got a world tour team. So good on Chris for uh, making that step up. Well deserved. And. Uh, just an all-round rider, pretty sort of quiet, chill dude, and uh, keeps his head down, works hard. Interesting little uh, derailleur hanging out there. Another, looks like a non-stock item. A little bit stiffer, a little bit stronger herd, doesn't bend as well in, in crashes. And uh, so this is the yeah, Chris Harper special, Jumbo Visma, and seat angle there, pretty flat. So the seat, the chairs are all lined up with your shoes, and people get a bit of food in there. No riders do faster train, they all, they've got food out, cliff bars, you know, sports drink powder, there's drinks in the background there, all the fridges, it's just a free fall of carbohydrates, water, etc. We're going to walk on down here, and uh, there's the UAE crew walking over here as a specialised. I, I do like that paint job. I do like that paint job. I know Philip Gilbert was a fan of these bikes in the rim brake version. That's the SL6 disc. SL6 disc. I've had a chance to ride the rim brake and the disc version. Me being me, I do prefer the disc version. It just feels a lot more frisky, a more, more live and a lot more real. But I do enjoy that uh, adjustable stem and bar combo. True dropouts, Dura Ace group set, full Dura Ace derailers cranks. Is that a stock derailer hanger? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. That is interesting stuff as well. So well, we're going, you can see, basically tell the difference between the tarmac and the venge quickly by looking at the seat posts. Look at the seat posts, look at the stem. Typically the tarmac has a more traditional, old school, easy to use stem. And the tarmac has a bit more fangled angle. Here we have the V3RS uh, Colnago rim brake. I think it looks like a direct mount. The very lightweight setup. And they had also the concept in there. I think they had the C64s around the Bora borers good rim clearance in there isn't it good tire clearance rather a slam set up there i think that could have been ulysses bike when he ripped it up uh did you see the video with i was out the uae crew the other day and they ripped it up ripped up one of the climbs torrens hill so it's a c64 this even could be ulysses his and uh there you go all carbon gumball tires interesting the peloton not really that common in my opinion there's a bit of a photo shoot there CCC, the, the corn chip company, cycling team. A lot of corn chips going around there. This is a TCR. This is one of the new TCRs. It's the first one I've seen in the flesh. TCR, the Duran Rider favourite. I'm not a fan of the ISP, but, I mean, it's good when it's good, but when it's not working, it's a bit of a pain in the bum. And this is a Simon Chinook bike. So Geshka is also uh, doing the vegan thing. A lot of, I talked to a lot of cyclists this year. The the vegan thing is definitely trending very hard. The pro peloton this year, more openness. I think guys like Adam Hansen and 
th- those guys are sort of paving the way in the world tour, uh, getting people just you know questioning what's going on at dinner time. It's another white wall bike there. So if you enjoyed these videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't enjoy them, give them a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Say more or less. Give us a comment, man. Let us know what you want to see. I'm I'm, uh, I'm generally not just asking for likes or comments because yeah, that's what you do. I'm just generally, if you like it, like it. If you don't, dislike it. If you want to leave a comment, let me know what you've got any question. We'll hit it up. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, a great day. This is John. John Canning from GCN. John's a cool dude, man. He's like a bike geek like myself, just a... A real down-to-earth dude. They're right down the specs. Get taking some photos there. So that's a bit of GCN uh, footage there. So two down under footage. Yeah, I've got a stack more. TDU. Stage two today. Stage one, actually. We'll see you on the road. Thanks for watching.